All right, guys, today I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to calibrate the new Einstar 3D scanner from Shining 3D. Same company, Einscan is the line of scanners. You got the Pro, you got the H series, the HX and the H, and now the Einstar, which is this little guy, an affordable scanner designed for the consumer market and to compete with some other uh, options that have actually just come out on the market recently. So we're gonna check this thing out, see how well it really works, and give it a calibration today. So I've already got my power cable. If you wanna see the details on the power cable and everything, uh, the power and data cables just both go that way and it's all in the unboxing video. So check that out if you wanna see all the details. So first things first, I'm just going to plug in the Einstar here. It's got that nice little actuating clip and it's only one cable, which is actually really nice uh, to have. All right, so then, I'm gonna open up the back here on the carrying case where they keep the calibration board in this nice velvet case. And here we have it. So that's ready. I'll just put that right there. Then I'm gonna head over on into the software. All right, so I'm gonna open up the X-Star software. And uh, if this is the first time plugging it in, there's a good chance that there's a firmware update. So it's gonna pop up if there is one, and we're gonna go ahead and do that process real quick, and then get on into the calibration. So let's see how that works. By the way, you do need a user account, but it does not need to be connected to the internet to use the actual scanner. They basically keep your registration linked to your account in their backend database. Now, this is my first time plugging in this scanner and everything. Uh, one thing I noticed, by the way, there's a little bit of whirring, a little bit of buzzing, and then you got these lights in the back, which are probably gonna tell me if I'm too far or too close from the actual object that I'm scanning during that process. But for now, it does show that there was a calibration on July 15th, which was about two months ago at this point. And uh, so I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna redo that. It is important to recalibrate if you go into a significantly different type of environment. So if I went from you know this studio into the warehouse or outside or something like that, it doesn't always need it, but it can help to calibrate in that environment in that lighting situation. Uh, every couple months we'll be like, oh, it's not working as good as we you know as it normally does, and oh, recalibrate and then it's right back to normal. So. Here we go, calibration guide. We're gonna do a couple different angles. All right, so I'm gonna take this and put it flat on the table here. Then I'm gonna take the scanner and it says to press the button, start it low, and it's gonna be, it shows me the dots. So I need it oriented correctly. So we've got three big dots on top, one big dot on the bottom, and Scanners oriented like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button. And it's too close, it's telling me. I'm just gonna gradually move up. Oh, that's neat, it shows me where I'm pointing. Oh, that's great. That is cool. That's not nearly as cool on the other scanners where it shows you where you're actually focusing. I really like that. Okay, high five, there we go. All right, so now I gotta move at a 30 degree angle away from the plate. So I'm actually gonna put this little wrist strap on here so it's not dangling in front. Got a green and a blue light now, interesting. And it's got it angled like this. I'm gonna do this. Now it's shining that light. Come back down for that close one that I missed. There we go. All right, now it's taking all that data that it gathered and calibrate succeeded. So the deviation is 0 0.04 millimeters. And I actually wanna compare, if you wanna go to one of the calibration videos for the HX or the Pro HD and find that pixel deviation or the millimeter deviation, post down in the comments below what the difference is and let's find out. That should give us an idea of the accuracy of the machine. And we'll do the white balance. I'm just gonna flip this right over like that and hit the button. And this is really just doing color. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm low enough. And you know, on the HX, when I do white balance, it, it, it almost, yeah, see there? It, like I did not need to go through all the, the stages. It's just like, once it gets it, it gets it and just says, okay. So I'll go next again. 
All right, cool. So this is exactly like the other software where I can start a new project or open a previous project and go from there. I'm gonna do the same thing, not even changing any settings. I'm just gonna go from here. All right, see it's picking up all those little red dots. Those are markers. Let's see how this does. All right, that's pretty good, actually. That actually works really well. Um, it's picking up data really quickly. It's missing out on some of the dark and reflective stuff, but not too bad. Let's check it out. Let's see what we actually got once we added markers. So there's the color and the texture. I'm just gonna turn that off right there real quick to see on the actual thing. It did get the, some of this aluminum, but the black spool here did not. And it did not pick up the clear reflective part there. And it didn't do too well with the tape, but the rest of it, the handle and the frame, it did pretty well. Not bad. Not bad. And once I mesh it, it would be totally different again. But that's pretty good. All right, so that is the Einstar calibration. Quick, easy, simple, just takes a couple minutes and then you're ready to start scanning, which we will be doing in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed and are ready for those to come out. And while you're at it, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want us to scan, what types of things you want to see a comparison. You want to see us, you know, put this thing, run its paces against some of the other scanners on the market. Let us know, we're happy to do it. And, uh, you can check out this and all the other scanners that we sell at visionminer.com slash scanners. We also got 3D printers, crazy materials, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one.